All right, today we are going to look at a specific search you could do for an assignment that's asking you to uh, write a paper on the importance of performing IT audits in a company. So what I would do for this, I would bypass this search box. This is okay if you're doing ser simple searches, but I'm going to go right here to advanced search. This is pretty much what I always do when I search. Okay, so we're gonna type in here IT and I want that to be in the title. So title and then audit. Okay, and I want that to be in the title too. I know there's going to be a lot of articles on this, so I'm going to run a search. <clears throat> okay, and uh, it's kind of hard to tell when we're looking at this, has it become more readable? Well, this is the problem with this search. IT, now there's one for IT on IT audit, but findings about it, uh, is it ever enough? But say it will not be pretty, it, it will not be pretty. So <clears throat> running, we're running into all sorts of uses of IT as instead of being IT like we're thinking of, uh, it's coming up as it. And that's so a lot of these are going to be a complete waste of time. So what I would do with this now at this point, I would type in in this third box, information technology, which is what IT stands for. So what I would do, let's say information technology has to be this one of the subjects of the article. So we're no, we know we're talking about the right IT. Then we run this search. We had 4,152 articles. Now we're down to 316. But if you look through here, now we're seeing IT audits, what we're expecting. IT in capital letters. And these databases don't really recognize capital letters in your search, so it wouldn't have changed anything if I would have capitalized those. But now that we have uh, the subjects will be information technology, now it's it's finding the right the right kind of IT. And if you open this up, what it's doing now is it's it's searching these subjects as well. And it, it's not going to bring back the articles unless one of these subjects has something to do with information technology. So I think that that's the way to go with this. Let's go back to the results list. We have some really good articles here. There's 316 of them. All of these looks like they could really, they could really be useful for your article. What you might want to do at this point, these go back to 1998. You might want to maybe put something maybe 2016 in there is the the earliest date you want to see of publishing that brought back 39 articles and these are all probably going to be great articles if you want to make sure they only come from peer-reviewed journals you could always click this right here and then it would limit it down just to peer-reviewed journals and then you have 13 which is probably going to be enough to research to write your paper so there you go. There's a quick example of how I would do this type of research. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.